When Nate Drag walked along the dock at the Port of Rochester, he was headed toward a week-long adventure on board the Lake Guardian. He wasn't alone. It is very exciting and there's so much to learn. The Guardian is a science ship. So the bottles have, there's a cable going up to the Rosette House. Owned by the EPA. They'll signal to the bottles to shut at certain depths so you're able to collect water. Fifteen teachers spent a week on board the research ship taking water samples and collecting data. Well, I've always been uh, interested in, in science um, and kind of learning more about how authentic science happens in the world and how scientists do their job. Tucker Rutterman is one of two Rochester City school teachers on the trip. And I was very excited when I found out that I got in. Tara Spitzer List is the other. So this is the Shipboard Science Workshop, where teachers get to spend one week on the EPA research vessel, the Lake Guardian. So there'll be cameras attached to this, and then they will get dropped down, and they will take a snapshot of what the bottom looks like. The work is important. Data collected during the week-long voyage will help determine policy and could help scientists pinpoint and solve problems with water quality and issues like toxic algae bloom. I've heard from teachers that it's like space camp for aquatic science teachers. Who will take what they learned and experienced back to the respective classroom? Um, I'm hoping that I can make some of that more relevant to my students. So many kids grow up here in Rochester, they know the Genesee River or they know Charlotte Beach, but they really have no idea that the resources that we have. I really hope to inspire um, kids, especially kids in the city, to um, kind of be able to dream of, of doing work like this because it should be uh, opportunities that everyone gets to do. The Lake Guardian comes to Lake Ontario every five years. Each spring and summer, it rotates annually through the other Great Lakes. I mean, they're all interconnected. It's one big ecosystem. An ecosystem that is critical in so many ways. With a ship full of teachers and scientists making sure its future stays healthy. You know, the garden has been going out for years, and we've been studying the Great Lakes for a long time, but there's always more to learn. They're so dynamic and complex. I just want to get people excited about the lakes, excited about science, and, and um, share this opportunity. In Rochester, Seth Voorhees, Spectrum News.